when there's no food, of course, there's no hope. Parents will do anything, go anywhere to feed their children. Listen to the cry of the poor today. Every one of us can do something. Sherry and I can't do everything, but we can do something. And with your help, we can make a difference. Your gift and your help, it will save lives here in Haiti. She has a mud hut to live in, but there is no roof. She has a set of clothing, but it's nothing but a dirty t-shirt and a ragged skirt. She has a place to sleep, but it's a piece of cardboard on a mud floor. She walks for miles, but she has no shoes. She has a pot to put food in, but it is empty. Her name is Verland. She lives in Haiti, and she needs your help. Here we are right now with little Therlon and her mama and her part of her large family. Her father is dead. Uh, her mother has no job. There's no jobs around here at all. And the ground is dry and dusty. They live in a little hut that has no roof at all. Yes. We live, sure not, we live in our orphan's home 15 minutes from here. Last night, it poured, it down, poured rain. down rain and it ripped our hearts out. Uh, thinking about little Fairlane and her, Fairlawn and her family. They, they said this morning they just got in one corner of the little hut and here. And huddled up on the ground. And huddled up as a rain, a rain came down so hard and they have no way to make a living. It's just, it, it, it rips my heart out, Sharon and I. But their problem is they need food and they're desperate for food. It's, that's one of the hardest things living here in Haiti is people coming every day saying, please give me food. I need meals for my family. Yes, Bobby, and as you said, it's hard enough to go through life being a little girl, nine years old, with all that she goes through, with sleeping yeah. on cardboard on the ground, and walking for miles, and working very hard, and it just trying to help her mom, but, but at the end of the day, it all boils down to, in addition to all the suffering that Verland and her brothers and sisters go through and her mom, a widow woman, at the end of the day, when she faces that empty pot and there's nothing in it to eat, it's like life is difficult, but then it becomes much, much harder. And Verland and her brothers and sisters, many of you who are not here, are just some of the children that really need to be in a feeding program all over the country of Haiti. We run into children like this all the time. Verland is just one of the children who is suffering day and night. There's a Haitian Creole proverb that says, 
hunger in the stomach is not sweet. I tell you, this, it's not fair for these children. Just imagine if your children had to go to bed every night on a hungry stomach. Yes. They were your grandchildren or your children. Yes. And they felt the pain of hunger. Every night. Every night, just like these children. <coughs> Please help. Let's make a difference with your help for these children here in Haiti. Thank you. Haiti is the poorest country in the world. Everyday children are hungry and starving, which in many cases leads to death. These children have no hope. They have no desire for school, no strength to play, and no aspirations of a better future. You can help them change their situation by providing food because food brings hope. Will you get involved today? For your gift of $24, you will provide 648 meals of well-balanced, nutritionally rich, great tasting food. This will help feed three families for an entire month. Yes, for just $24, less than the average restaurant meal for your family, you will be feeding three families for an entire month. Your gift of $120 provides 3,240 meals. Your one-time or monthly gift of $120 will feed 15 families for a month. And your generous gift of $1,000, which provides 27,000 meals, will feed an entire impoverished Haitian village. Please consider Haiti's hungry children today by calling the number on your screen, visiting our website, or sending in your gift today. We cannot do everything, but together we can do something. On behalf of the hungry children of Haiti, thank you and may God richly bless you. Should I want to give you a special gift, our new release book, Love is Something You Do. This book is full of stories of children here in Haiti, stories of faith, stories of adventure, and even back from our life in the beginning when she and I was born up to present day. And of course, the first chapter is called The Rat Shack. I fasted and prayed 21 days just on water. But about the 13th day, I looked up at one o'clock in the morning and I seen a vision. What did I see? You must request the book. For your free copy of Bobby and Sherry Burnett's new book, Love is Something You Do, Simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. Call the number on your screen, write to the address, or go to the website and give your gift now. Remember, to receive your free copy of Bobby and Cherry's new book, Love is Something You Do, simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. Well, right behind us, we see the mothers. Most of the mothers are coming in line because we try to give the food card to the mothers. They're the ones who cook the food for their babies and their families and their children. They've been waiting this long, hot line for a long time in the hot sun. And today, we have four villages coming together. We've actually rented these big trucks right here that you see to bring the people from the four villages. When they come in and get their food, they're gonna set it on a pile over here and then everybody's going to put their food inside the truck and take off. Now, some people have to go across the lake by boat. Some people are leaving by donkey. Some people are carrying that box of food on their head. But I promise you one thing. When they get home tonight, they're going to have a big, hot bowl of food. OK, baby. Bye-bye. They're going to have a big, hot bowl of food for their children. And you have made that happen. See, Bobby and I, we live here. We've been living here in Haiti since 1991. We know the, the heartache of these mothers. Bye-bye. We know the heartache of these mothers. Look at their faces. They're all standing in line, waiting for a box of food. And this food could mean life or death to them. And that's why, bye-bye, that's why we count on you, our partners. You make this happen. You are the bridge between the food in the United States and the food getting here to these people and these babies. Please pray about sponsoring one family, two families, three families, a whole village if the Lord lays it upon your heart, or maybe you want to sponsor a whole 40-foot container of food. 270,000 
hot meals. Think about it and do whatever God has laid upon your heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Heather, what do you think about all this? This is pretty crazy with everybody. It's um, hard to see the desperation of wanting to feed their children. It's, they're you see the need? It's, uh, once a month, the truck comes. Once a month, correct? And once a month. This isn't much food for one month, and, but it's all they have, and it's just they are so thankful for it. And then one person per family brings that food card, and they get their food for the month on a committed monthly basis. Merci. So... Thank you. You have just seen all these people receiving food, but please help. We have so many people, so many villages. We, we have requests every day that comes in. I mean, desperate emergency requests comes in every day here in Haiti, wanting food and just praying for, to the Lord every day for food. And you can, God can use you to answer their prayers. Please help so many other people, like you've just seen, others who don't have any food. They're waiting for food. Please help them today. Please let God use you. We love you. Since her husband has died, she has so many problems in her head. She doesn't, she doesn't have any money to have a job. She doesn't know what she's going to do. A lot of problems since her husband has died. Marie, yes, moi, la pluie t'est tombée. Kiko, Kiko, t'es où t'es dormi? Moi, t'es où t'es là, mais là, non, qu'à peine là, t'as mis ça sous tête, non? Okay, I took the bucket, I moved the bucket over there, I put the cardboard on the ground, I put this over, this piece of tin over our heads. Non, t'as mis, t'es mon yoko, j'en suis ma femme. The team who slept with me, mais où pas gain? Non, 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 ma tante. There's nothing to put up, no roof to put up, so the rain has just fallen down on me. They slept in rain last night. She says the bugs bite me, and it gets so, the rain is so cold, and it makes us sick. And here is a widow woman. Her husband died, sleeping on a mud floor with her children in the pouring down rain. And, and Bobby and I were sleeping in the bed last night. And, and when it was raining, we woke up in the middle of the night and we were talking about Madame Marie because we knew she did not have a roof on her head. And I said, Bobby, it's pouring down, raining. And Madame Marie is over in Leyton. She doesn't even have a roof on her head. And we just woke up in the middle of the night thinking about it. And it just broke our hearts. But the biggest problem she has is not the roof that she's missing on her house. It's the food that she's missing from her pot every day to feed the kids. Someone once said, let your heart be broken with the things that break the heart of God. And, and when I saw Marie's tears, the tears of a mother, I really think that those are the things that break the heart of God. It's a mother's tears for her children. Her heart is broken. And if you're a Christian and you're listening to this program today, I don't understand how your heart cannot be broken with these same things that break the heart of God. Haiti is the poorest country in the world. 
Everyday children are hungry and starving, which in many cases leads to death. These children have no hope. They have no desire for school, no strength to play, and no aspirations of a better future. You can help them change their situation by providing food because food brings hope. Will you get involved today? For your gift of $24, you will provide 648 meals of well-balanced, nutritionally rich, great tasting food. This will help feed three families for an entire month. Yes, for just $24, less than the average restaurant meal for your family, you will be feeding three families for an entire month. Your gift of $120 provides 3,240 meals. Your one-time or monthly gift of $120 will feed 15 families for a month. And your generous gift of $1,000, which provides 27,000 meals, will feed an entire impoverished Haitian village. Please consider Haiti's hungry children today by calling the number on your screen, visiting our website, or sending in your gift today. We cannot do everything, but together we can do something. On behalf of the hungry children of Haiti, thank you and may God richly bless you. May God bless you. I want to give you a word for the mission field today here in Haiti that it may be a blessing and instruction to you and I. It's in, I'm gonna read from the book of James, the second ch chapter, verses 15 and 16, two powerful verses. Listen very carefully. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? But let's start back from the beginning. The Bible says, if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food. That surely is what's happening here in Haiti. I, Sharon and I, we live very close to here. We've been here for about 20 years or more now, but we've been coming to Haiti since 1971. I, I, I've never seen so many people destitute of deli food and naked. Just the family to begin the program, little uh, uh, very uh, very long family. Uh, oh my goodness, the clothes you've seen is the only clothes that they had to their name. And we give the little boy uh, some pants and stuff because when Sherry was here yesterday. She says, where's the clothes? She says, oh, my, my, my children, they get up naked, they go around all day long naked, and they go to bed naked. But one thing Sherry and I did today, we brought over a whole box of clothes, and we brought over a box of food. And we're gonna put a roof on their little hut and do a lot of things and show them the love of God. But here in Haiti, like the little, their long family, so many families are desperate of food, daily food. You know, you and I, you know, of course, I was born in America and I live here in Haiti, sure, and I, but in America, there's such an abundance of food. In the UK, so many countries around the world that's watching right now. But let God use you. Let God make you, let you be an instrument to help little children that's destitute of daily food. That's the hardest thing sure and I have living here in Haiti every day facing people who come to us, say, Bobby, sure, I have no food. My little children are starving. We haven't eaten in a day or two. It rips our heart out. That's the hardest thing living here in Haiti is seeing the faces and seeing and talking to the people. That's desperation of food. But in your life, of course, you make a difference in this program today by giving, by praying, and by giving. Let's don't say to them, oh, go ye be warmed and be filled and go our way and do nothing. The Bible says, what doth it profit? I just read it. Let's all say, okay, be warm, be filled. I, 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 I'm gonna pray for you. I, I'm, I'm gonna pray for all the people who likes food here in Haiti, all the children. No, let's do something about it. Let God use you. 
the little families and children of Haiti, they need you. The Lord needs you. Let God use you to make a difference for the children of Haiti. For food, God bless you. Thank you. Verland and I are under a little tunnel where her aunt lives, which is not too far from where her own little mud hut is. Sitting here, talking to her, I've just really come to understand the cry of the heart of a child here in the country of Haiti. You know, Bobby and I, we've lived here in Haiti for over 20 years. We understand the Haitian people, we understand the children, we speak the language, and we've just grown to know their stories and their day-to-day -day struggles to survive. Little Virland has had a very horrible life, a, a terrible life for a little girl. She's had to live like a grown adult in the, in the body of a little child. She's never, ever had anything a child has had. She's never had the, the toys or the clothes or just the bed to sleep in, nothing that a normal child would ever have. In fact, she struggled every single day of her life. And the worst thing about her life, and the worst thing about her struggles, amid sleeping on the dirt floor in the rain and the mud, sleeping on cardboard, those are not her main problems. Her main problem is to find food every day because she has malnutrition already setting in. And when a child has malnutrition, they get sick very easy, they have no immune system, they can't fight off simple sicknesses. So please, find it in your heart to help a child like Verland to be put into a feeding program right here in Haiti so we can feed her and so many other children just like her. Thank you. You know, being a mother myself and being a grandmother, I just cannot imagine what Verlin's mom goes through every day. Not only just the terrible living conditions, the rain pouring down on their heads, but just the, the constant struggle every single day to get up in the morning and think, what am I going to feed my children today? She is a widow woman. And I cannot even imagine with no government help, no assistance, no social assistance, just living here in the middle of nowhere, I, I, I just can't even imagine what it's like to think about how am I going to feed my babies today. Our brand new book is being released, Love is Something You Do. You know, it's all about Haiti and the adventures of Haiti. Uh, Sharon and I as missionaries living in Haiti, and all about the children who steals your heart, but it's also about our earlier days in America. And one of the stories in the book is about when I first learned to fly an airplane, the first hour when I got my license, Mr. Faith going to ride. He didn't know I just got my license. And we hit a bad weather, and oh, he, he thought we was gonna crash. And he was married and he was holy, but all of a sudden he started confessing his sins. I told him, I turned around and said, brother, tell God everything. Well, if you want to know the rest of the story, request the book, Love is Something You Do. For your free copy of Bobby and Sherry Burnett's new book, Love is Something You Do, simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. Call the number on your screen, write to the address, or go to the website and give your gift now. Remember, to receive your free copy of Bobby and Sherry's new book, Love is Something You Do, simply give your gift of any amount and request the book. This is a very important part of the program. Here we are, we're back at little Virulon's house. And you've seen early in the program her mama and her part of her family. And she, like so many other children in Haiti, are needing food and waiting for daily food food and here's how you can help and you can lay down at night on your pillow and just feel so good for God can use you for one thousand dollars we'll provide twenty seven thousand meals for a gift of hundred and twenty dollars we'll provide three thousand two hundred and forty meals for a gift of twenty four dollars 
will provide 648 meals for a gift of $16, will provide 532 meals. Please call the toll-free number that's on your screen. It's free or write the mailing address that's on your screen. Or you may want to donate a gift of any amount. Or you may want to donate what God put in your heart, a certain amount monthly for food for the Haitian people. Well, the office, we can deduct that monthly from your credit card very easily, automatic deduction. Just tell them on your end. But please call the number. It will help speed the process up. Will you send back a picture, a report, and you will feel so good. And you're doing it as someone who is praying for food, and they have nothing. They have nothing. Please help. And please call right now, please. Thank you, Bobby. You know, Bobby and I have just been praying all this week, and the Lord has given us wonderful scriptures about those who help the poor. Like in the book of Acts, where God spoke to Cornelius, and he said, when you help the poor, your alms come up before the Lord as a remembrance. That means when you help the poor in time of need, God is going to remember you and bless you. He's gonna to restore to you things that the locust and the canker worm has eaten. And today, you are not listening to this program by accident. Bobby and I have been praying all this week, and even in the middle of the night, we've woken up with scriptures on our heart about how God is going to bless those who bless the poor. And if ever there is a time when we need to put the poor first, it is right now. You may be watching this program and you can write out a check for $10,000. You can sponsor an entire container of food, 270,000 meals. Please do that. Or if you're a person, you could say, I can give $1,000. I'd like to sponsor 27,000 meals for hungry children. Please do that. The numbers are on the screen. The amounts to give are on the screen. Give a gift of any amount, but please don't sit there and not do anything. Children are dying, children are starving, and God wants to use you. Pick up the phone right now, write out that check, give it on your credit card, but please do it right now. The Holy Spirit is speaking to people's hearts, and Bobby and I have been feeling this all week, and, and now is the time to share this with you. Please call right now. People are waiting on you, Thank you. the little children. Please call right now and let God use you. You will not lack. God will bless you. Thank you. Faith and now it's up to you. Love is something new.